every time I do a workshop across the country, the last eight years in a row, I've asked people, is a college degree worth it? Is it worth the investment that people put into it? So let's take a look at this video here with Mike Rowe. On his, and if you don't know who Mike Rowe is, he's had a show called Dirty Jobs. He's got his own podcast. And he wants to create light in life to making a six-figure income, making $250,000 income, making a million dollars in income in jobs that are dirty that a lot of people don't want to do without having to get a college degree. So let's take a look at this clip. That's what I was talking about with degrees. I'm not saying that there's anything inherently shameful about getting one, but I do think from a PR standpoint, something really interesting has happened. I've been talking about it for a long time, but in higher ed, everything is based on the perception of value around the credential. Yep. And that perception is tied very specifically to the belief that it makes you knowledgeable. You get the degree, it's a reflection of your intellect, your wisdom, your knowledge. Right. I think that's over. I think that connection no longer exists in the minds of many millions of parents. I think they're starting to see the degree wow. as a thing you purchase in a very transactional way, mm -hmm. in the same way that I believe a lot of universities have come to see their students as consumers. Wow, wow. So arbitrage. So arbitrage meaning that you're paying one rate but earning another. And they're saying the arbitrage is not necessary for the student, meaning that if, if you're gonna pay the, the, fa the, the stats there, if you're paying $100,000 for college education, you should have a job that pays you well more than that for the rest of your career to make the return on investment worth it. And they're saying it's not there anymore. So that way you're able to pay off your student loans. Because I remember when I went to college for I think a year and a half mm -hmm. and I tried it. But a nice night, bro. It's no shit liner, bro. Yeah, I, I, very cool, man. I, I, awesome. <laughs> thank you. Shout out to, the, uh, to my barber, man. He's, nice. Thanks for recommending him, man. He's a great guy. <laughs> very good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got size that man. When I when Sharp. I when I um when I went to college for for a year and a half, I, I was trying to go to U of I in, in Champaign Urbana. Nice. I was going for criminal justice and also exercise science, both of them. Um exercise science for for what I do now and criminal justice for just in case I'm just gonna become a police officer in case it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. I had a backup plan. But for one year, um it would have ran me thirty thousand dollars. Just for one year, U of I, U of I, Champagne, U of I, but it's it's, it's a party school, so that's why I like mm. want to go to that school. Yeah. So I went to a community college, and even then, uh, when I when I was going to school, after the opportunities came up for me, um, I decided to pull out. First of all, because I couldn't pay, I couldn't pay it. I, I, couldn't, here, yeah. I was I was, I was uh, working at Jewel Osco at the time, making seven twenty five an hour. I couldn't mm. pay for myself, and my yeah. parents were expecting me to pay out of out of oh, pocket sure. to man up and grow up. Mm -hmm. um, fast forward. Now my, my friends graduate with their associates, now that they, they had their bachelors and I was still without a college degree. And as shitty as it felt, all of them were struggling as much as I was or if not more because yeah. of the student loans the student loans that they had to encounter uh, right after yeah. college, man. Yeah, my, my daughters, they, they graduated uh, uh, 2019 from from Hinsdale Central House Hinsdale Central, right there. Nice high school, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, very very nice well to do high school. Make a long story short, they decided not to go to college. But now they're facing a wave of their friends who did go to college four years later, who are now graduated. Yeah. And guess what they have? FOMO. N no. They have no job. Yeah. Oh. But student loan debt. Yeah. Or have a job, but it's not even enough to cover mortgage or rent, yeah. to cover car note, and now student loan debt. Yeah. So you know, think about this. The three biggest things that most people buy in their entire life. First biggest purchase most people make is their house. Second is a car. Third might be their Education, maybe two or three, might, you might flip number two and three and we're independent on the car that you buy, the, the school that you go to. But the three biggest things that people acquire in their entire life, home, education, car, they're not bought with cash. They're bought by arbitrage, meaning that I'm borrowing from a bank yeah. at one rate and hopefully earning a rate that makes sense for me to borrow to begin with. And what a lot of people aren't doing today is they're buying things cash and the arbitrage or the benefit of that borrowing relationship is more heavily on the bank versus the person earning it. And so what Micro his, his argument here is saying that the esteem of the pride of having college, I went to University of you know, Illinois, I went to Kentucky, I went to Duke, blah, blah, blah. That is starting to wean off a lot more because what's the reality of just saying I got a piece of paper? Yeah. I, I want income. You, know, you got a piece of paper, you're proud of going to this college or whatever, but you're still living with your mom and dad. And we've covered on the show that many people in the Gen Z, Gen X generation are still living with mom and dad. How many people who have uh, professions, who have their M MBAs, who have the PhDs, have come to you and said, Matt, I, I'm making okay money, but it's not enough, and I'm, I'm, I've been out of school for 20 years, Bro, and I'm still you, in debt. You, you see our workshops. Yeah. How many smart people do you see? You're, 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 you have you're a like, brain surgeon, don't you? Yeah, we have, a, yeah, we have a neurologist, we have yeah. a doctor, right? Yeah. And she's one of our marketing directors. 
But you see, you've seen it right there uh, first, firsthand, right in shadow with me. This, how many smart people do you see coming to our workshop who have a college degree, who have a master's degree, who have a PhD? He said, you know what? I'm not making enough money with what I study for, what I borrowed for, and I find a lot more money earning in business with you. And a lot of people who went to school for those big titles, they went for those titles only because their parents said, hey, oh. these are the titles that you, would, you can go for and yeah. you will make great money. Yeah. But now as time progresses, the, the amount that they make stays the same, but yeah. inflation keeps happening. Yeah. So although they're making good money, maybe 10, 15 years ago it was great money, now it's decent money. Yeah, I, I think if you're gonna go to college, you have to figure out what you're going to college for. So I asked my kids very quickly, yeah. if you're gonna go to college, what's your outcome? They said, I wanna make more money. So babe, if you wanna make more money, there's another track to make a lot more money outside of just earning a college degree. That's a way, yeah. but it's not the only way. So, because I don't want to also poo-poo people that want to study to become an engineer. Yeah. I mean, I want my doctors to go to college and get the, be the best degrees in education. I want the best accountants to learn the best accounting practices. I want my professionals in my life to go to college. But if your outcome simply is to go to college and get maybe a, you know, a, a general degree that, mm -hmm. and the, oddly enough is three, four, five years later, many people also are working in jobs that they didn't even study for, yeah. but they're still paying a student loan debt on yeah. it. Um, Jordan, let's take a look at this other clip here about college graduates. What type of jobs are most college graduates actually working? Let's take a look. That was a picture. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at this. Um, boom, uh, appreciate that. Uh, let's go to my screen then. So here, here's a crazy part. Half of college graduates are working high school level jobs a recent report reveals that nearly half of new college graduates in the U.S. are starting their careers in jobs that don't require a degree. With 52%, that's a big amount, with 52% landing in such positions within a year of graduation. These jobs predominantly in areas like office support, food service, retail, shows a stark reality for graduates who may expect better opportunities with their degrees. Now, it feels like engineering, finance, and nursing show lower rates of underemployment, while internships significantly improve the chances of securing college level employment. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. If you're going to college and you realize that, and I didn't really need college degree, what, what amazing amount of regret you had. I, four or five years, I could have just done that year one. Yeah. And not only did you burn money that you owe, but you burn time. Yeah. You could get a lot started. And here's my recommendation too as well. If you don't know what you're gonna do, serve our damn country. That's what I did. I didn't know what I was to do. Serve the military. Go serve the Peace Corps. Go serve. Go serve. Find somewhere to, to serve. You know, I was I was uh, just with Jojo this week, and we did a, a, a class trip. I was at Chaperone, yeah. and one question I asked him said, "What, what do you want to do?" He said, "Dad, I want to do what you do." I said, "No, kid. You know that's that's what I'm doing." By the way, why do you want to do what I do? Because I see you make money. I see you travel. I see so you, you and mom. Wow. Okay. So what else? Because I want one of the five kids got to be a lawyer. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, but I got my hat. Somebody's got to protect the family finances. We have to have an in-house, you know, attorney. But um, you know, for the for the most part, I know. What do you guys think? Do you think today that getting a college degree is worth it? Please put it in the comment section below. Worth it or not worth it? Please put it in the comment section below. Put it in the live chat. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.